Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It is the 7th of August, believe it or not. And this summer is well over, half over, I believe. Uh, kids go back to school in a month. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> anyway, a couple of things I just wanted to say before we shine the light on everybody know who's this, who this is. I want to give my appreciation to everyone that I'm, I'm hearing a lot of Feedback from everybody, the positivity and support and ask means a lot to me and everybody in on passive that that really sees and, and believes what Ash is doing. So thank you for that. I, I want to say a couple of things. We've been doing Shine the Light for I don't know, a month maybe. Oh, month. Something something like that. And today, uh there I've met a lot of people on passive. Some of them are in before me, obviously. This gentleman today was before me. Uh, he's one of the people on Passive that I looked up to. Uh, class act, tells the truth, uh, very supportive of everyone. He knows I'm Passive like the back of his hand. It runs through his veins. Uh, I love people committed like that. When I, once I got to understand what I'm Passive is the best I could, I felt the same way, so I definitely can relate to this gentleman. And uh, everyone knows who he is. Everyone goes Google when he's uh, coming on a <laughs> webinar. Uh, but no, it, it's a big deal. And, and and he's the rock. He's one of the pillars of Unpassive. Without a doubt, everyone knows that. I'm going to let Chris introduce him, but uh michael williams aim is here he will explain to you what that is because i've had people ask me in this the last four or five days um but michael can explain that but i am proud that he's here i'm honored that he's here and i'm going to turn it over to chris because he's better at bringing someone on than i am even though he's a no i'm just kidding <laughs> Go ahead. i'm not gonna say good good morning brother i love you uh, michael you're in the background i love you too I'm really, really excited about this. I myself personally know Michael a little bit. Um, I don't know what he's going to share with us today. He is a very private person, which I respect that. Um, one thing that I really, really love him is his faith. He's got tremendous uh, faith and strength. Um, he does a show every Monday, one of his big shows with Julie Wen calling. I think they call it a conversation. They have a conversation, which is very good. That's on uh, I believe Julie's YouTube channel on Mondays, it's usually at 12 o'clock. Um, he's just a great guy. I broke bread with Michael. I got to meet him in Boston and we had a really good conversation and I found out a little bit more about him that I love. Uh, I loved him anyway. Uh, he is on multiple webinars uh, talking about Unpassive and the great things. I've never heard him say anything negative. He's always positive. So on that note, I want to bring on uh, a very respectful brother uh, who I love with all my heart. Mr. White, Mr. Michael Williams, let's wait till Marty centers you because we know you love that. And uh, not my big head, Marty. Get Michael on here. <laughs> and Michael Williams, say what you want. And uh, a lot of respect for you, Michael. The floor is yours. Well, thank you so much, uh, Marty and Chris. Uh, it is uh, my Great pleasure uh, in being here with you, uh, both of you. Um, you know, you guys are uh, certainly, uh, you know, uh, great examples uh, of people to admire, people to look up to. Um, you know, your positivity uh, is always um, present in, in, in all that we've been doing uh, for the past years. Uh, so it's certainly great uh, to have like-minded people in your circle. You know, and I can certainly call both of you uh, my brothers, um, you know, because we're uh, kindred spirit, you know, and and, and that is awesome. Um, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan, folks. I mean, let's let's be real. I'm not a big fan of, of you know, uh, talking about myself and, you know, shining the light on myself and all of that. Um, you know, I, I prefer to shine it on others you know um i just been that way uh ever since you know um i was born uh in the tiny island of uh jamaica you know um, many 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 years ago and um 
you know, uh, came to Canada at a very young age, uh, you know, grew up, um, you know, in, you know, multiple places. We moved around, uh, you know, my mother was a hardworking woman, you know, uh, for, you know, most of my uh, young life, I would say, uh, single family home, you know, so I saw my mother working, you know, extremely hard to make sure that myself and uh, my siblings were taken care of. You know, we never had to go to bed hungry, anything like that. We were never homeless. You know, uh, we were always provided for. Um, you know, my mom uh, was and is uh, a very good uh, mother, a very good woman. Uh, you know, the Bible calls her a virtuous woman. So, you know, we were grateful for that. Um, you know, I uh, played a lot of sports. I was good uh, at academics, uh, specifically uh, math and science. Um, and so, uh, you know, I went on to university, um, started out in engineering, um, traveled around uh, where university is concerned, uh, you know, uh, took business administration, uh, took computer science, um, you know, different degree programs to feel around to see what I really uh, liked. And, you know, and that was kind of uh, good for me because it gave me a well-rounded education. Um, you know, uh, took a lot of uh, religious studies, you know, studied um, Islam, studied uh, Christianity, studied Judaism, you know, so all these things, you know, the various courses that I took uh, while in university, you know, gave me a solid foundation um, as I started my journey out there in the workforce, um, you know, and certainly as I got out there in the workforce, working in the financial industry, um, helping people with their finances, um, you know, I, I saw a lot of things, you know, I was blessed to be able to travel, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say the world, uh, but certainly all over Europe, um, you know, all over uh, North America, uh, throughout the Caribbean, um, you know, and uh, I've never been to Africa. Okay, so let me put that out there. I've never been to the continent of Africa. I've never been to uh, Asia. Um, you know, but I certainly have done my fair share of traveling uh, to places that I, I've enjoyed um, over the years, uh, you know, with my family. So uh, that has been good. Again, it's great to ex be exposed to, you know, different cultures, etc. cetera. Uh, one of my favorite places, uh, I must say, uh, is Venice uh, in, uh, in Italy. You know, uh, a close uh, second is certainly uh, the Greek uh, islands. So, um, you know, we've, we've, we've done a lot over the years, you know, we've come across a lot of great people, uh, people that we've admired over the years, uh, we've had a lot of great friendships, um, you know, uh, but my, my, my true passion has always been my family, I, I try to, you know, do everything possible uh, to make sure my wife is taken care of, you know, uh, she's a, a great woman. Um, you know, we have three uh, beautiful uh, children uh, that are uh, great at academics and, and also great at athletics. Um, you know, so we have a wonderful family. You know, we have a very uh, tight knit, close knit family. Uh, we're God fearing people. Um, you know, we truly believe in our Creator. Um, you know, uh, we have a special relationship uh, with Him, I would say. Uh, you know, we take time out of each week uh, to spend uh, with them. Um, you know, we're always uh, thankful and grateful that he that he's put us in position to succeed uh, in life, not just from a financial standpoint, but always having good people around us. Even when there were dark times, um, he was always there uh, to guide us through it. Right. Um, you know, so. You know, we've had a, a pretty good life, I would say, you know, um, prior to on passive, you know, we decided to uh, create a, a business called Automatic Internet Millionaire. And because we saw a need, you know, we saw a need that so many people are joining all these different companies, different businesses, and they would just fail, you know, practically every single time. You know, and so we kind of sat back and wondered, like, you know, why is this? Why is it that, you know, I can join a business and I can succeed with it, but then others would join and for whatever reason, no matter, you know, I showed them how to do this. And so I came up with the solution that you really had to do it for people. 
you know um that that was my solution that okay if i can do it for you uh, then you know if i succeed then you will succeed okay and so that's where automatic internet millionaire aim that's where that came from um you know being able to uh, help people complete that sales process you know on an automatic um, basis you know basically help them to get in uh to whatever we're doing at the time provide the necessary traffic uh for them you know so that way it didn't matter about their skills it didn't matter uh, about their knowledge their education none of those things mattered all they had to do was get in um you know and as long as they stayed with it see the key is patience folks so even though you may have something that's automatic uh, you still have to stay with it because there's time involved it's not about money now money now money now money now money now doesn't work right so it's important that people understand that um, but longevity you know if you stick around long enough folks uh, somehow success will find you you know um and so um you know we went on uh you know to do what we're doing and then um we were introduced to one passive back in july of uh, 2018 you know and so when we first saw it uh, probably around i don't know first or second week in july i don't re recall exactly uh but somewhere around there it was the beginning of july anyhow and um you know uh, we saw we you know didn't really pay much attention at the time we're like ah we're okay we're you know we're, we're doing what we're doing um we're good but then you know so many people started to reach out and say, no, 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 you really have to take a look at this, et cetera. You know, so I went back and, and I watched these two videos that our CEO um, had shared. And, you know, and, and, and as I spent time and I went through it, I was like, it was like an aha moment, you know, where I said, you know what? Hmm, this is exactly, at the time, this is exactly what, uh, you know, we're trying to accomplish for all of our members. You know, it's, this makes so much sense, right? Now we can have an army behind us um to make sure that every single one that we're involved with will succeed right that that that's what we wanted um you know and so about a month later uh around the 8th 9th uh, 10th of august somewhere around there um you know we signed a dotted line basically right and and got involved uh with on passive and um you know we just quickly decided to spread the word because we saw something that just made so much sense. It was right up the path. It was going in the same direction that we were going in, meaning that you know you had to be able to give people something that really did not require their know-how. You had to be able to complete that sales cycle for them, which we've now come to know as Catmo. Um, you know, you had to be able to provide that to people uh, for them to truly succeed. You know, but we also know that in life you go through ups and downs. You know, it, it, it takes time. I remember my very first year um, out of university. Uh, I think we did something like one point something million in sales. I believe it was. Um, you know, uh, and and it, it 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 doesn't always last, right? You know, things take time to develop. Takes time to grow. Take time to build. Um, so not because you get out the gate and you're like, wow, look what I'm doing. It doesn't mean it's going to continue that way forever. But if you stick around, folks, if you stick around, right, uh, if, if whatever you're in uh, lasts, then certainly success is there, right? There's so many different examples that we can use of companies uh, that started out and uh, companies that, you know, didn't look like much in the beginning, uh, but they, they, they stayed the course. You know, and eventually they became giants uh, out there in the industry. You know, I remember there was a gentleman and uh, he used to go door to door selling cookies, you know, and, and people would laugh at him, you know. But guess what? In the end, he became a millionaire, right? Because he stayed the course, he stick with it, you know, uh, and success was his. I remember another company we joined and, you know, uh, we ended up creating over 300 millionaires um, for those who stayed the course, stick with it success was theirs uh you know uh, but you know at the end of the day uh you know what i like best is to see that others are experiencing success when we see other people standing up you know and 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 knowing that they've made a positive change for their family 
there's nothing like it, folks. The feeling that you get, you know, sitting down with uh, high school students, helping them uh, with their math, with their physics, uh, chemistry, you know, helping them and seeing at the end of the day, they're able to go through and do well in the course and go on to university and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a blessing, folks, to be able to see uh, people succeed, whether it's academically, whether it's athletically, you know, again, spending time with uh, young children, um, you know, helping them in various sports, et cetera, uh, you know, giving back, you know, all that you've gotten over the years to be able to take that knowledge, that experience, and to give it back to others and to see them uh, go through and succeed. Folks, there's no, I can't think of a greater joy, um, you know, when it comes to helping other people, right? It's, it's just awesome. And that's what I see in On Passive. I see an on passive, you know, uh, a way to be able to help other people, give back your knowledge, help them understand the process, help them understand uh, that, yes, success is still on the table. That help them to understand that we have a CEO and Mr. Ash Mafara uh, that just doesn't exist out there anywhere in any other company, right? We have the best of the best when it comes to CEOs, right? As far as I'm concerned. Right, because this is someone that is just filled with integrity. This is someone uh, that speaks the truth. This is someone uh, that is honest, someone that cares for other people, someone that means uh, what he says, someone that will go to bat for you and me and for every single one of us around the world, over 200 countries. Uh, you know, you can't help yourself but want to align yourself with someone like that. You know, and that's what we have in on passive when we look at the various leaders and 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 supporters and and all these great founders that we have, uh, you know, in so many different countries. It's not just one or two or five or ten folks. It's an army of people uh, that are going in the same direction with the right mindset that wants to make their dreams come true, and not just their own dreams, but their families and their families' families. You know, generations, that's what we're talking about, folks. Want to be able to help their community and so on. So that's what I see in this company. So as we uh, continue to work towards that success, right, I expect nothing but that, right? I expect nothing but success. I expect nothing but greatness, uh, you know, to come out of on passive, right? We're going to see a lot of people going out there, creating foundations, uh, you know, that's going to help. Uh, great causes around the world. We're going to see people out there donating to existing charities. Uh, we're going to see people uplifting themselves and their families, you know, out of poverty. Poverty is not nice, folks. <laughs> it, it really isn't, right? In case you haven't figured it out yet, right? It isn't a nice thing. And unfortunately, it's just a handful of people uh, that have access to this great wealth uh, that this planet provides. You know, uh, there's so much wealth in the world, so much. And yet it's just harbored uh, by a few individuals. When you think of it, to have, you know, around 3,000 billionaires in the world, that's not a lot of people. Not when you're talking about almost 8 billion on the planet, right? So to have 3,000, mm, okay. Now, do we need everyone to be billionaires? Of course not, right? We don't even need everyone to be millionaires either, right? Um, but we certainly want to have everyone, everyone to have, at least the basic necessities in life taken care of. That should be the least. That should be the bottom, folks. Okay? We shouldn't be talking about people below the poverty line. Like, what is that? Right? That's not what we should be talking about. We should be talking about, um, you know, everyone having access, right? Having access to clean water, having access to proper shelter, right? Again, you can just click on, go. you know, you don't necessarily have to leave your country. Uh, you can just go on YouTube, for example, you know, and you can see most dangerous roads to travel to school, right? And you can see that these real roads, these real journeys that these young children, you know, six years old, seven, eight years old, have to travel just to get an education, right? That should be, you know, again, one of the basic necessities, right? Um, but it's there, folks, that so many are struggling. Right. Even right now, even those that are in on passive, we know uh, that we have people that are struggling financially. And so they quickly gravitate to junk. They quickly gravitate to garbage. They quickly run and, you know, oh, you can make this money right now, that money right now and all this fancy stuff. And they jump into these things 
only to be left behind once again. But we get it. We understand. People are desperate. Okay, but not because you're desperate means you should make mistakes. Okay, so we want to be able to, you know, to be wise uh, with the little that we have. Absolutely, right? Because over time, joy is coming. There is no doubt about that, folks. Right? You know, so as I look forward to, you know, after on passive, if you wish, um, you know, meaning, you know, we're all successful. You know, you know, what what are the things uh, that I look forward to as an individual? You know, certainly. Um, you know, I want to be able to have a lot of great uh, support, right? I want to be able to support a lot of uh, people's ideas, you know, because, uh, hey, there are a lot of great ideas out there, but unfortunately, there's not enough funding for them, right? Because people are not willing uh, to give as they should. If it's not something that's going to make them a gazillion dollars, they're not willing to put their money into it. But there's lots of ma's and pa's and and small businesses and, and, and individuals that have great ideas how to help um, mankind as a whole, right? Um, or should I say humankind? <laughs> uh, but anyways, right? Um, the, the bottom line is that uh, we are here, right? We are here uh, to make a difference before we leave this planet, right? That, that's how I believe, you know? I, I believe that every single one of us has something that we can contribute. You don't have to have PhD or master's or any of that fancy stuff, right? Sometimes that person, you know, with a grade eight education, uh, they have a lot to say, they have a lot to offer, right? But it takes someone willing to listen to what that individual has to say. Um, you know, it takes that person uh, guts to want to share uh, what's inside them. Um, and then if you look uh, close enough, you will find greatness in every single person, right? Even, even that person that was mean to you, right? You can find greatness inside them. It's just a matter of getting that light switch to flip around uh, so their mindset becomes from negative to positive. And then you'll see that, yes, there's greatness in all of us, every single one of us, right? All of us, every single one of us on this planet have the creator inside us. There's no doubt. How do, how, why are we alive? How are we alive? You, you know what I mean? So there's something that makes us alive, right? There's something that separates the living from the dead. Okay, so what is that something that's in all of us? So all of us have greatness within. It's just a matter of how do you bring it out, right? And I believe that on passive is that tool to be able to bring that out of people uh, so that they, they can go on and do great things and others can benefit from their greatness. You know, we want to cheer on. You know, it's the, it's the now is the time of the Olympics, you know, and when you see uh, other countries cheering for other athletes, I watched the... Uh, hammer throw and, and saw the Canadian uh, woman, uh, you know, she won the gold. And, you know, all of the competitors, they're just hugging each other, all from different countries. They're all competing against each other, but they're also happy for each other, though. They were happy for the person who won the gold, the person who won the silver, the person who won the bronze, and the others that were competing, right? And, and that's good to see, folks. So we're talking about different nations, right, supporting each other because of commonality. And that's the great thing about sports. And that's one of the reasons why I personally love sports so much. Okay, growing up, uh, you know, I did track and field, uh, basketball, football, um, soccer, uh, you know, um, I just love sports, right? And so, you know, one of the great things about sports is that it brings people together. Think of all the hatred that's out there in the world, right? Think of all the people um, you know, that at war and all this fancy stuff. But guess what, though? When it comes to athletics, right? I saw athletes from Iran as an example, right? I saw athletes from Cuba uh, as an example. They were there, they were competing, right? Ethiopia, right? Athletes from around the world coming together, right? Um, that's the great thing about sports, folks, right? And we can learn from that. There are companies out there that hire students coming out of university and they specifically look for ones who played sports at a high level. That's one of the characteristics that they're looking for, right? Because there are some things about people who compete, right? They're driven, right? They're driven, you know? Now, it doesn't mean that if you know, you've never competed in a sport, you're not driven, okay? That's not what we're saying, folks. Right. But we are saying that 
um, you know, when you look at people who are competitive in sports, because it takes a lot to be, especially at that level, it takes a lot, right? Absolutely, it takes a lot, you know? And so we see that out there and, and I just can't help but sharing on, you know, we see the Indian uh, sprinters, uh, for example, you, you know, uh, again, we've seen uh, countries uh, that are not necessarily known for a particular event and we see them shining, right? We see them shining in the Olympics, right? That is awesome, awesome to see folks, right? We see, you know, um, the, the women from, uh, from China, uh, the, the men uh, teams, and it, it's just amazing, folks, right? That's all I can say about uh, athletics. I, I can't say enough about it, right, about sports in general, um, you know, simply because of the camaraderie. That's what I see in on passive also, right? That's what I see in on passive, the camaraderie, people coming together, right? It's amazing, folks. It's amazing. That's what we have here in on, pa on passive is like the Olympics, <laughs> right? In the sense that we have competitors, we have athletes, we have um, participants from around the world, and we are all cheering on each other. Right? We are supporting each other. We're standing with our CEO. We're standing with the leaders. We're standing with every single founder, every single person that says, yes, I am in. We're all standing together on a united front for a common cause, and that is to see each and every one of us successful. Think about that, folks. That's what On Passive is all about. right? And so I draw from all of my past experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Because folks, it wasn't always pretty, right? It wasn't always pretty. There's, there's no doubt about that. There's been ups and downs in my life, in my family's life, um, you know, but guess what? We're still standing. Why? Because of our belief. We believe in our creator that gives us the strength to keep going on. And we believe that he's always there to guide us through no matter what the situation is. Sometimes when things look really, really bad and all of a sudden, poof, here comes a miracle, right? We believe in miracles, folks, right? Again, I'm not telling you you should, but I'm telling you that we certainly believe in them, right? And so on passive is going to be a miracle, right? It is, right? Because which other company out there is looking to do what on passive is looking to do? Which other company? None, not one right? Not one, right? So it's going to be a miracle for this company to do what it says it's going to do. But I know it's possible. Why do I know it's possible? Because that's what AIM was all about, folks. It's about creating an automatic process for people to make sales. You make sales, you make money. It's just that simple, right? No matter what product you have, no matter what service you have, if you make sales, you make money. Simple. Okay, but selling isn't simple. That's the problem. Okay, right? You make sales, you make money. That is simple. But selling itself isn't simple, which is why you need technology. This is why you need AI, artificial intelligence, to be able to help you through that process. And that's what Catmo is all about. And I'm sure there's more than enough videos out there about us talking about Catmo and so on. So we won't go in depth into that, um, but I just wanted to share that as far as what we have in on passive. So uh, I believe now, uh, you know, a little bit more maybe about me, although I think everyone already knows everything. Um, you know, you know, uh, when I got started on passive, uh, you know, um, the experience we've had so far, the journey has been incredible, just incredible. I've met so many people now that I didn't know before. I know people in Germany now. I have relationships with people in Germany, in Switzerland, Sweden, right? Rwanda, right? Cameroon, you know, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, right? Everywhere, Vietnam, Singapore, right? Egypt, India, right? So many places, folks, around the world, right? Uh, really, 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 really... Um, close friends now, family, I would say, in Israel, right? So many places around the world, folks, you know, um, obviously America, <laughs> we always know Americans, um, but, you know, it's great. It's great to have now expanded our family, you know, because of on passive, right? 
it's on passive has helped us to have a bigger dream than what we had before. Because as far as I'm concerned, automatic internet millionaire was tiny compared to the dream of on passive, right? With on passive, now we can ex expand borders, right? We can now, you know, not just think of here in Canada, but to reach out to the entire world, right? To be able to help billions of people, not millions, but billions with a B of people. Now, will we help every single person on the planet? Probably not. Probably not. But we're certainly going to make a run for it. We're certainly going to do our best to help as many as we can because we know that there's over 6 billion people on this planet with a B, as in Bob, that are in need financially. That is factual, folks. Right? That is factual. Right? You take out a few countries, right? Take them off the planet, and the rest of the planet is in poverty. It's as simple as that. Right? It's as simple as that. So how can we make a difference? Right? How can we make a difference? We can make a difference by giving them a helping hand. We can make a difference by showing them how it's possible to achieve their dreams. We can make a difference by actually doing all the heavy lifting for them because they don't have the knowledge or the know-how to make it happen for themselves and their family. That's what OnPassive is all about, folks, right? That's what OnPassive is all about. Right? You may be living in Papua New Guinea. Maybe you've never left PNG. Right? You've lived there all your life. You, you've never gone anywhere. Okay? But guess what? On passive is going to help you live whatever your dreams may be. Maybe your dream is to travel the world. Right? Maybe that's your dream. Okay? On passive will be able to help you do that. Maybe you're in India, 1.4 billion people. In one country, Canada has about 40 million people, right? And yet Canada is the second largest country in the world, land-wise. And yet our population is so tiny. And here is India, right, with 1.4 billion, with a B, people. That's a lot of people, folks. A lot of people, right? Don't they have dreams? Aren't they looking to do great things for themselves and their family? Right? Absolutely they are. Can on passive help them? There is no doubt whatsoever that on passive can help them. None whatsoever. Zero. All in time, folks. All in time. Okay? We know that we've been at it for a while. But guess what? It's worth the wait. Why? Because it's the only company that's going to make that positive difference in your life. On passive is not going to lie to you. Not our CEO. Okay. Maybe some other people on passive may lie to you. Okay. But not our CEO. Okay. We know who we can trust. We know who we can count on. We know who we can depend on. Okay. We know who's faithful. Right. Folks, this is not your ordinary or typical business. It just isn't. Right. This is beyond that. It's beyond that. There is a spirit that is moving through on passive that you probably never experienced before. Never. Why? I've seen people come into on passive after having a down day and they get onto a webinar and their spirit is uplifted. Even right now as I speak, I know that there's people listening and watching this right now and they're going to walk away feeling better than before they came. Why? Why? These are not just lip service, folks. I'm speaking the truth. I'm letting you know that your future is secure, that your future is bright. Although you may not even think that. The reality, the truth, the facts is that your future is brighter than you think. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Why? Because we care about you. On passive cares about you. Our CEO cares about you more then you probably care about yourself and your family. And that's a good thing, folks. I mean, that's the type of person that you want to go to bat with. That's the type of person that you want to be, you know, behind you, pushing you to succeed, right? Think about that, right? If I'm, if I'm uh, in a football game, I want to know that the guys that I'm on my defense, like they have my back, right? I want to know 
that if I'm going into a fight, right, that I've got some people that's not going to run away, you know what I mean, when it becomes, you know, a little bit tough, right? All of a sudden, you're losing the fight. Okay, I want people in my corner to be shouting positive things towards me, pushing me, encouraging me to continue to press forward. That's what makes champions, folks. You understand? You have to have that support, okay? And so we know our CEO is doing his best to make sure everything happens. And guess what? He knows that we have his back. Why? Because we believe. We know that it's a done deal, period. And when you have that kind of confidence, folks, you can accomplish almost anything in life. I won't say anything, okay? Because if you know you want to go fly, or you, know, you, you can't fly, okay? Unless you get into a plane, <laughs> right? But almost anything in life you can do. Why? Because positivity, being optimistic, having a steadfastness about what you're trying to accomplish, right? A never given up attitude right? I continue to push forward and forward and forward. Even though you may have lost 50 times, people join on passive. Why? Because there's still hope, right? There's still hope. That's what we're giving people, folks, is real, not, not lip service hope, not fake hope, real hope. Why? Because we have something that is real, real company, real people. You understand? Real products, real rewards. It's just that simple, folks. You understand? I love on passive, right? I love this company. I love our CEO, right? I love great people, and I'm not going to call names because I tried that last time and it didn't turn out so well, okay? Because I'm going to leave out people, okay? But I love everyone that's in on passive. That means on passive well, right? And you all know who you are. Okay, you all know who I interact with and so on and so forth. And for those I don't even interact with, I still have you in my prayers because I pray for on passive every day, every day, because I know prayer works, right? I've seen it. I've experienced it in my life. So I know, okay? And not because you pray for something and it didn't happen. It didn't work out for you. It doesn't mean prayer doesn't work, okay? It's just that simple, folks. Okay, if I go to bat, if I'm a baseball player and I go to bat and I swing and I hit a home run, hey, right? It worked, right? Hey, I got a home run, no problem. But next time I may go to bat and I swing, and guess what? I strike out. Does it mean it doesn't work? No, it doesn't mean that. Okay, it just didn't happen that particular time. It's as simple as that. Okay, folks, we have so much in store to look forward to. So much, so much. Being at this for six years, that's a short time. In essence, when you think about it, it's a short time. You take out two years of, out of, uh, because of COVID, now you're talking about four years, right? You, you, you take out the rough goings in the early uh, stages. You know, there wasn't a website in the beginning. You had to move from one office to the next office and so on. When you start to play around with all of this, folks, you see that, you know what? It hasn't been that long, okay? But the, at the end of the day, the bottom line, is that how will we finish? And I say, hey, it doesn't matter how you start, okay? But as long as we finish strong, right? As long as we finish strong, I remember cheering on, you know, my kids, them, their, their basketball team, you know, and that's one of the things I always say to them and come the fourth quarter, right? Finish strong, finish strong. Okay, it didn't matter whether they're winning or losing, it, it didn't matter, but finish strong, okay? And so I believe that with on passive, yeah, we're in that fourth quarter now and we're going to finish strong, right? And we're actually going to win the game. It's as simple as that, right? It's a, because we have a secret sauce. If you didn't know this by now, and that secret sauce is our CEO, okay? When you put great people on your team, folks, it's very difficult to fail. It's just that simple, right? Like I always say, you know, I don't do everything on my own. Okay, I don't do everything on my own. I get people to surround myself with that are great people. If I have a legal issue, okay, I go get the best lawyer for the case, right? If I need stuff done around the home, I get the, the best, uh, you know, person to come in and take care of whatever it needs to be taken care of, right? Surround yourself with great people. And that's what we have here in this wonderful company. Uh, so folks, uh, that's a wrap uh, for me at this point. 
Um, you know, because I hope that you gleaned something uh, about me. I hope you gleaned something um, about how I think, uh, where I'm at uh, with our great company on passive, uh, outside of on passive. You understand that I have a wonderful wife. I'll say it again, right? Just in case she's listening, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I have a wonderful wife and three beautiful children. Okay. So signing off. Wow, Michael Williams, I ran out of ink uh, writing everything I uh, down. I did forget one thing, is, uh, and I can contest to this. Michael is one heck of a great family man and, and a super father who does many things to get his ki kids to the right places, especially with sports and education. Uh, and I'm going to be straight up honest with you, folks. When I met Michael in Boston, we did not see eye to eye. That's because he's six foot four and I'm five eight. It was more like eye to neck, and uh, it was a great. But Michael, you said uh, you you said some things about you that I didn't know, which I loved. Uh, you blew us out of the water. I'm a little speechless because I think they named the wrong guy. Oh bless! I think you should have been oh bless, but that's okay. Uh, I know that your heart is there, and I know that you're going to stick with whatever we do. But you said some pretty dang amazing things, Mike, and I appreciate you, Marty DeGarmo. To you mike 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 <laughs> mike michael what the freak that was amazing no no kidding i expected you to do very very well i was wrong you blew me out of the water you really did the the amount of people commenting and all that you are definitely the poster child of unpassive no doubt about it um yeah it was a big deal and Stay on when we shut off because I want to say something else. But anyway, uh, no, that was phenomenal. Uh, we had over 600 views, people on. That's the highest I remember, except for Ask Me Farah. Oh, no, he's only 480. Yeah, you, you beat him. Yeah, you beat him. He's going to love special sauce, though, I tell you that. <laughs> no, it, it, it's a good thing, Mike, and we did learn about you. Uh, more, uh, everything makes sense because you are who, who you are the way you walk in life. You wind up being who you are because of what you've done. And obviously you got a great family. I feel like you do. My family's number one, did a lot of stuff together with the kids and growing up. So uh, in fact, I'm so happy about it. I, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, it's fantastic, Mike. And this came at a perfect time. So God was involved in this too. And um, yeah, it was very, very good. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Michael. I mean that. Uh, <coughs> this was needed and this was, I know a lot of people are stoked and that's, that's a cool thing. That's yeah. a cool th I know you really, Michael doesn't want to put the spotlight on him. There's a lot of us like that. I don't mind shining stuff. But when that thing gets turned around, I don't I don't like it too much. But anyway, um, Mike, amazing. Chris, this was a good one. And uh, yeah. everybody out there, look, like Michael said, we all believe we're as good as the people that we surround ourselves with, okay? And, and everybody needs to know that. If you're being drugged down, you're maybe, maybe you're around the wrong people. Just maybe. And I'm passive, I believe it like Mike does, like Chris does, to my bone marrow. If I would, if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't have been here five and a half years, six for Mike and four for Chris. I, why? Why? It's because I believe it with all my might. And uh, be careful. I know people get wandering around and, oh, I'm going to go do this until I'm passive. I'm going to do that. I want to tell you something. 20 years. Full time online, you're going to get ripped off. I just want to tell you, I don't care what the name is, you know, and I've met a lot of people and I'm passive. I, I don't want people to get hurt, but I'm just telling you, there's new things coming out every six months. I want you to remember about a year ago, there was three or four big new shiny objects. Go find them for me. <laughs> no, get a shovel because I can't find them. Anyway, thank you very much, Michael. Any closing remarks? I love you, man. 
<laughs> okay. Let me say one and, more and thing. Thanks, about... And thanks, thanks, Chris, for the, the extra few inches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, wow, it, six four, shoot. I, I want to let everyone uh, know that um, Michael and I are a lot the same, and he talked about it extensively throughout this about the Creator and how he prays. Um, I know I get up early every morning just to prayer. Uh, just to pray for not only my family, but the world and and, and passive and what we're going to do. And uh, I know this firsthand that Michael and what he's now, he doesn't just talk it. Uh, he's a, he's a praying guy like me. And I believe that's why his life is so brilliant. <laughs> and I ask everyone pray. Uh, it does help. And once in a while, God says no to your prayers and that's okay. And there's a reason for that, but stick with prayer. It helps. And I always pray for all of us. Everyone in a passive, including Ash Mafara, uh, mostly. But Mike, um, a lot of love for you, brother. I appreciate you for coming on today. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me, Absolutely. man. Uh, this was this was better than I thought. <laughs> I was. Oh, no, I knew it. you didn't want to do it. I knew you didn't want to do it. I'm like, said, come on, man. I don't. I don't want light shine on me. I'm, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> but thanks, but, but it, I really appreciate it, it. Yeah, it'll encourage other people to come on for sure, even people that don't want to do it either. Um, yeah, like 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 you said, Chris. Look, my my whole life, God's done stuff for me that pure miracle. I shouldn't be here. Okay, I shouldn't be here, uh, but I am through the grace of God. And like you all said, and Michael really said hard, two or three countries take off this big map, and everybody's in poverty. It's that bad. It's that bad. Every day when I wake up and I say, "Oh, I got a bad day," I realize there's a billion people or more that have it worse than me. So let's remember that. Lift people above yourself. Never be too proud that you need to be the number one because you're only as good as, the, you know, the people around you. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much sir, for coming today. 360. 360. Oh, yeah. 360 today uh. at <laughs> 2 o'clock. If, you if, if you're going to watch it, go to the top.live. That'll take you to somebody's YouTube channel that has it running. And only go to the top.live, please. Yeah. Anyway.